Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and if you are new here, I have a host of um, new things for you to look at today. Not that I don't if you've been here before, but like I'm extra excited today because I have finally gotten my little paws on the Urban Decay Velvetizer. So I have like, I don't know, a couple new things, like some stuff from Dose of Color I wanted to try out with you guys, but this is like my showstopper. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I've already prepped and primed my skin and it is ready to go. I am just like super excited. I always do prep and prime my skin before I get into anything that deals with foundation. And I'm just, I'm super excited. Like, as you can tell, I'm kind of, I'm a little giddy. Obviously like I haven't opened this, swatched it, nothing like that. Um, but you open up the package and it's 100% velvet, like all around here. Is that not just gorgeous? I'm just, ugh. I'm living. And I do know, I've read on their website, this is two different things. You can use this as a mix-in medium with your foundation. They, of course, say, you know, use it with your Urban Decay foundation, which, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, <clears throat> you can use it or mix it in with, like, whatever foundation you use. I highly doubt it would, like, explode if you tried. Um, but it's a mix-in medium as well as you can use it to, like, set, and it's supposed to just, like, shoo, like, velvetize your face. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, table of one. I will take some face velvetization. So we're gonna open it up here. Um, of course, it is closed, which is good, because if it wasn't, this would be a really sad video, because that's gross. Can I get this out? Do my nails are busted, by the way. No judgment on my nails. I don't know what I did. I, apparently, I picked up like a barracuda with these things, because they're jacked right now. I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's real cute. Okay, so you take off this little plastic piece, which if I can just say attention to detail, their little sifter holes are UD, like in their, their own font. So it leaves like this cute little, number on the package. I think that's kind of adorable. Oh my word. Okay. So let's tap a little into it so you can actually see kind of what the powder looks like here. It has like this interesting like yellowish hue to it, which I don't think the camera is going to be able to pick up. Um, I can, I def it's definitely translucent, but oh my, it feels so interesting. I am, I am skeptical, nervous, excited. I'm everything all in one today. <laughs> So I'm going to be mixing this with my Lottie Selfie Ready Foundation. I have been using this since I did the video. I will link it down below. I think I've linked it in like the last three videos because I'm obsessed with this foundation. Um, but I'm going to mix it with this. It says to mix about a dime size amount um, to your foundation. So I'm going to kind of do a little like page measuring. Oh, that's about, a, that's probably more than a dime, but that's cool, whatever. And I'm just going to mix this on the back of my hand because I'm not one of those fancy people. I could mix it on a lid if I was like so self-inclined, but... I already started the journey on my hand. So that's roughly what I got here. This glob is my foundation. There's some velvetizer. We just wanna mix it in like we scientists, you know, of course, with the end of a makeup brush because that's how all good people do it, right? So you guys have, you look at that. Like, look how, like, it made it into a mousse. Can you see the texture? Doing this on my hand was not a good decision. Don't do this on your hand. <laughs> this is why you watch my channel. It's almost like a what not to do, but for your entire life, you know? Yeah, real cute. We're just gonna take what's left on the stick here and kind of smush it on the face. That definitely did change the consistency, but I wanted to choose a foundation that I knew, you know, how it's supposed to wear, how it normally wears, all that good stuff. Um, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do half of my face with the Beauty Blender. Obviously, just take a little product and start working it in. So I did this entire half right here, like right down the middle with the Beauty Blender. I did use all of that product and I feel like, I don't know if it's because it made it thicker, like maybe it didn't go as far. I'm not 100% sure on that, but what I will say is I'm looking at the back of my hand right now. <laughs> Wow, it looks good. <laughs> so I'm not noticing too much on the face as of yet. I but I do think it like e it's more even than before, but I can't you know, I feel like it's too early to tell. So I'm going to go ahead. I do want to mix up another little batch of this concoction, if that's what you're going to call it, and um, not do it on my hand this time. Good idea. So for this other side, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to try this with a flat top kabuki. I just cleaned the, the stick off on this side. So I'm just going to go in. I mean, it's just a regular flat top, but I wanted to try it with this and see if maybe the coverage was a little bit better. I think with the brush, I do get better coverage on that side of my face, but it looks very textured and very like, 
like I stippled it. Like you can tell that the brush, every single bristle is leaving a mark. So I think that you're going to kind of sacrifice, you know, smoothness on the Beauty Blender side, um, which is, you know, a little less coverage, but smoother looking finish. Or over here, you get a lot more coverage for what you apply, but it's textured. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the Beauty Blender. I'm going to even it out and see if I can kind of get that to calm down because this might just be one of those situations where it's best to apply it with a brush and then, you know, go over top and really push it in with a beauty blender. Because there's a lot of times where that's the case, you know. So my thoughts so far as far as it being like a mix-in medium, what do I love? I love, normally like my nose is a really big problem area for me as far as like you can see every single pore, like foundation tends to just like sit inside of them and never really fills them and goes over top of them. And this, I don't know if it's like a mixture, the, the velvetizer making it a thicker foundation, I'm not sure, but this really did do a nice job of going over like my more textured porous areas and like smoothing them out. It did a really nice job on my cheeks as well doing the same thing just kind of like evening everything out which I think obviously is the point um so so far I'm actually pretty happy with it I will say though as a result of it being like a lot thicker it didn't seem to go as far so I think that a lot of it will depend on like what specific foundation you are using you know making sure that you really develop if you will your perfect blend of this powder to your foundation ratio because I could see that going good and bad. So, but so far so good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'd say the next step is to go ahead and conceal, which I'm going to conceal real quick and then I will come back on camera. We will kind of go from there. So hold on just a second. Okay. Be patient. Just be patient. One second. So I have went ahead, I have added my Tarte Shape Tape. I did some around my eyes, up here a little, chin, and then on the sides just a little bit for a little bit of added like, ooh. So we are going, you like some sound effects? We are going to jump in now after I put the lid on my foundation because I'm nervous, I'm gonna wear it. And that was really loud. <laughs> and we are going to move into setting with this Velvetizer. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump some into the lid. Okay, so these holes kind of make this a little difficult because there's only four holes so like you're kind of hanging out for a minute all right let's get the hair out of the way and let's begin I'm gonna go in I always go in with the point of my beauty blender and it's kind of okay or not because it won't hardly stick to the beauty blender like it just taps right off I think I might just need to use a brush. I don't think I've ever had to use a brush to set my under eye before. We're gonna go in with this Real Technique sculpting brush, we're, brush rather. We're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna pick up some. We are going. And I don't know if it's just cause I'm really pale, but that actually made my under eye, like there's none over here. And obviously I just did this part and it's like darker. I don't know if it's just because I'm so white or what here. And I am just gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna kind of go over my entire face and give it like a set. What I will say while I do this is that like, it feels like I'm running my brush over nothing. Like it feels like it's just the fluffiest cloud. That's so weird. First of all, my skin right now is like baby butt soft. Like that's crazy. All of my pores look really like refined and set down. I'll zoom the camera in so you guys can take a look and kind of see what I'm talking about because you guys have seen my skin like up close and not up close and all that so I'll zoom you in so you can look at it okay so I always have like I don't want to say like discoloration and like lines and stuff but I always have that through here but I feel like it is so much less and so much more refined like even through my nose my pores look really good like I'm just I'm really impressed even onto my forehead like I don't know there's just little to no texture but I wanted you guys to kind of get like a good up close before and after and then we can kind of go from there that's crazy and I keep I feel like it's getting better like I know I've said this a hundred times on my channel and I probably will continue to say it till the day that I die but the longer that products and things sit on my face there's like a sweet spot where in like an hour they look just the best that they've ever looked and I feel like this is gonna be in like an hour I'm gonna be like oh child so I'm just like okay let's calm down we're gonna continue. I'm gonna go ahead, do my brows off camera because I don't have any brow products that are new yet. They did not come in the mail. <sighs> so frustrating, but like whatever, I'm over it. Can you tell? Okay, so I did go ahead, I did my brows, and I also added some bronzer to my cheeks because I also realized I didn't have any bronzer to try 
<sighs> so sad, but it's okay because I use my Marc Jacobs one and it's like always a good day when you get to use that one. So <laughs> I don't care. We are going to move on though to eyes. I picked up some stuff from Dose of Color that I wanted to try out. Dose of Colors. My bad. There's an S at the end. Um, but I wanted to try that out because I've seen their brand all over the place and I've never tried it. So I picked up their um, Marvelous Mauves. <laughs> Such a great name. Um, I picked up one of their, what is this? The Ideal Duo in the color Frozen. I guess it's like the pigment, yeah, loose, loose pigment and primer in one little bottle. I also picked up a lipstick from them and a highlighter from them. So I am pretty excited to try this stuff out. Um, so I figure we will go ahead and we will obviously get started with the Marvelous Mauves palette. Peel. This is, is, does anybody else find this like the most therapeutic thing in the world when you get to peel that plastic? Oh God, I just love it so much, it's so fun. Then you get these gorgeous mauve tones, which I love. It looks like you have everything from a lighter pinkish color all the way down to like a deep dark mauve color. Wow, these are soft. I just pushed my finger in there way too hard and it like broke all kinds of apart. Dude, my big man hands are like crushing this palette right now. <laughs> Whoops. So those are the colors from top to bottom. Sorry, that bottom swatch got a little out of control. But from top to bottom, you have fluffy, rosy, wishy-washy, spaced out, and wine stain. Those are some great names. Almost forgot to prime my eyelids. We're going to do that with the Urban Decay Primer real quick like. Okay, when I had primed my eyelids, first thing we're going to do is go in with the lightest purpley shade and just kind of set the whole thing. There is a lot of pigment on that. But see, you tap it off and it all kind of comes off. That always kind of bums me out. Um, I have a feeling fallout is definitely going to be a thing, but hey, we shall see. All right, and I think for this look, I'm actually just going to work my way right down the line. So I'm just going to go to the next one here, which is the shade Rosy, and we're going to just start popping them in the crease. Wow, those are really soft shadows. Holy cow. They're very soft, but they're also very pigmented. They go nice on the lid. They just kind of sit right down. They're like good kids. They just sit down, shut up, and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Who are we all kidding? Kids don't do that. <laughs> so I think the way we're going to work this is I'm just going to start higher up in the crease, and then the darker they go, I'm just going to get them lower and toward the outside. So we're going to go into the medium shade right here, and that is the shade Wishy Washy, and we're just going to kind of go right in. Keep popping them in the crease. Oh, Tay, and next, <laughs> oh, Tay. <laughs> next we are going to, I actually wanna switch brushes. This one's a little bit too fluffy for the next step. I still want something that's fluffy, but a little bit more dense. So I'm actually gonna take just this Alta Brand crease brush here. It's a little more dense to it. And I'm gonna go into that third shade right there, which is spaced out. And this one, I'm gonna start concentrating a lot more low and on the outside I'm just going to smoke it out like the tiniest bit and then I'm going to take this last day blah, blah, blah. going to take the last shade right here which is wine stain I'm going to take just the tiniest amount and pop that right on the out, outer V and then we will move into the inside of the lid which I'm kind of excited to try because it's going to be that little duo I showed you Okay guys, that is it right there for those shades. Um, my impressions on these would be that, like I said, they are very soft, they're very pigmented, they're very creamy. There is definitely some fallout on the cheek, but honestly, not as much. Like there's a little bit right here, but if I look close, that's actually all the fallout is like right here. So that's kind of impressive for how um, soft they were. So for the last part we are gonna go over, it is this Ideal Duo Loose Pigment and Primer Set. Um, again, this box is really white, so it might not pick up real well on camera, but it says on the back of it here, ultimate color payoff. For ultimate color payoff, follow these steps. Step one, evenly apply a small amount of Ideal Duo Primer with your fingertip or flat synthetic brush. Step two, apply the Ideal Duo Loose Pigment over the primer with your fingertip or eyeshadow brush. Results, hashtag dose of perfection. <laughs> Well, we will be the judge of that. Let's open her up. It looks like this is your tiny little guy. The sparkly goodness is down here. Up here, I'm assuming this is the primer. You open it up. Oh, there's like a tiny little mirror. And then in there is your pigment or your uh, primer, I'm assuming. So I'm just gonna, come on. I'm just gonna take some of this on my finger here. And oh, child, that's a fun, like, kind of, can you see that? kind of like metallic-y shift color. That's interesting, okay, okay. We're gonna take and we're just gonna pop that right on the inner lid. 
So we're gonna go ahead, unscrew this, and oh lord have mercy, there was definitely an explosion. Do you see this madness? It's like all over. Oh lord. Oh lord have mercy. But that's kind of the color. I don't know how good of a color you're gonna get because it's just everywhere. But like, let's just pop some on. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Oh, boy, does that pack a wallop. Okay, I'm gonna take that outside brush that I just used and I'm just gonna, no extra product, I'm just gonna kind of blend it back out. That way, you know, the sparkles don't overtake the whole lid. That is definitely very pretty, very pigmented. Like, look at how happy and like open this eye looks compared to this one. It's like, womp, womp. Ah. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll get this done and I will be right back. Okay, I went ahead, I finished off my eyes, and I have to be honest, that looks so pretty. Um, it's definitely a little bit of a hazard because that goes everywhere. I'm covered in it. Um, and part of that just might have been because it was broken when I got it. I don't know, but it looks very pretty at the end of it all. And I went ahead, I took a couple of the shades from that Mauve's palette, and I just ran them on the lower lash line to kind of complete that part of it. Before we hop into the next part, we are diving into the one, the only... Narcissist Unfiltered Cheek Palette. Oh, child. Inside, there is this huge, I mean, wall-to-wall -wall mirror that is gorgeous, and you get these th four, three, four, five, page six. Where did you learn to count? So these swatches, I love it. The top three are shimmers. So these three right here, which is what, oh no, I'm sorry, which are Out There, Chic, and Exhibit A. Those top three right there are three shimmers and they are gorgeous. I'm a little nervous about this pink guy down here. I don't know. I don't even know what girl be doing with that because I'm... If I put that on my face, I'm gonna look like Santa Claus. <laughs> but the other shades, all these gorgeous shades, I'm, I'm excited for. But I kind of think I could live for this Watch Me right here. It's just a very light color. Well, light. I mean light. Look at that. That's not, that's not light. But. So I think I ended up with a little too much <laughs> right there. So I'm going to take my blending brush. There's just this big fluffy guy here. I'm going to take him and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit and kind of lessen the harshness that is blush. There. Just like a nice light flushy cuteness. Ooh. So for highlight, we are going to go in with the I See You Baby, that's an interesting shade name, also by Dose of Colors. It is one of their Supreme Glow Highlighters. I've never used anything from Dose of Colors, obviously, so I've never tried this before. Go ahead and let's do a little swatcher here. Oh my, oh, oh. Oh. <gasps> what? All right, we're just gonna go in with our Sigma Fan Brush here and we're gonna take some product. Can you, are you? That's stunning. And it's so like meldable. I feel like it just like sits right into the skin. It doesn't sit on top and like emphasize all my textures. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to set my face, put on some mascara, I'll be right back, and then we will round this out with some lip stick. Almost there. Almost there. So you know that awkward moment where you think the camera's rolling and it's not because you don't have your glasses on and you can't see that little red dot in the middle of the or in the back of the screen there? Yeah, that's that's what just happened. I put on mascara and then this is where it got good. I did my lips, right? So I grabbed this NYX uh, lip liner in the shade Pale Pink. And I have to be honest, it was a perfect match for this dose of colors. I went in with Rose Rosebud, yeah, Rosebud Liquid Lipstick. I did not expect this. I thought it was more of like a pale pinky color, so that was fun. It feels good on the lips. It feels a little tacky. I'm hoping that that will dry down or go away. Okay, you guys, I am going to wear this for a few hours, you know, eight hours-ish or so, whatever my day ends up being today, and I will kind of come back. I will tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and how it wore, and all that good stuff. The main thing we are focusing on, of course, is the Velvetizer by Urban Decay. That's like the main show-stopping situation that we have here. Um, but we'll also kind of take a look at the eyeshadows, how they wore, and just, you know, the blush, all that good stuff. Anything new that I tried okay, today. Okay, guys, it is the end of the day. Yeah, the foundation has been on my face for like roughly seven to eight hours. I had a fun-filled day. I hung out with my niece, painted my nails. It was a good time. So I figured I have not, I actually haven't looked at my reflection in a hot minute. Um, I am going to go over, look at my face. We're going to zoom in and take a look. So these are the lids and as you can see up in here do you see like the the separation that happened it happened not only over like in this section 
where we did put that I ideal duo combo. It happened a little bit out here, but the majority I feel like was through here. And I don't know if that was the result of the primer in the duo or not, but I definitely will say like you can notice a big difference in that section of my lid versus out on the powder side. But let's look at this skin, you guys. Look at how my under eye, do you see how like just gorgeous it still looks? And again, all, seven to eight hours, no blotting, and that's all the shine that I have. And part of that's probably <laughs> my highlighter, let's be real. So I'm kind of living for this. So yeah, I would say everything performed okay. The velvetizer was definitely like the showstopper. My skin still looks really, really nice. Um, again, for how long it's been on. The shadows are a little bit of a letdown, but the highlight from Dose of Colors looks amazing. And let's have a real quick real talk about this Dose of Colors, um, what did they, this is just their liquid lipstick in the color Rosebud that I put on. So I waited. I gave this an hour to dry down. And after an hour, I was still going and my lips were like stuck together and sticky and they t they felt like flypaper. So I honestly do not recommend this lipstick at all. Like no matter what anything else you hear from me today, I cannot recommend this. I tried it. I gave it a very fair chance and it would not dry down. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I am going to sign off so I can go to bed because it's got a big day tomorrow, more filming, all that good stuff. Gotta make full use of them weekends, y'all. Full use of the weekend. So I will talk to you guys all later. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I love the feedback that I've been getting. I've been getting a lot of like, um, hey, will you try this? Will you check this out? What do you think of this? Questions and stuff like that. That is so awesome. I love that kind of stuff. It really does. Um, if you need help, questions, if you think like, hey, if you could do a, a video uh, based on your thoughts about like this line or these products or something that you'd recommend for this situation or whatever, stuff like that. I love that. It gives me like a direction. I know kind of what you want to hear. And even if it's only for one person, it's still helpful. So I'm all about that. Um, but yeah, comment, like, subscribe, bell, um, love, follow, uh, uh, social, um, uh, stuff. I get nervous because I tried to say it all too fast and I forgot what I was saying. So when in doubt, just say bye. Oh. I feel good. Neener, 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 neener. I knew that I would not neener, 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 neener. So good. So good. I got you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ow. But for real, which one of you, which one of you is to blame for the separation on my eyelid? What did I tell you? What did I tell you girls? You hold your sister's hand. You hold her hand. You hold them tight. Right? Tell the nice people. Say, I'm sorry. I didn't listen. I did not listen to what Paige said. I did not hold the hand of the glitter next to me. We all got separated on the lid and now we look a hot mess. <laughs> Come on before we go da, 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 for the loose. That's a cardio workout, y'all. I need a water and a personal trainer.